interesting. This is kind of unusual that these pilots saw different things, and that is sort of, I guess, adding to the mystery of all this. Yeah, not even the pilots apparently were really able to identify what they saw. And just to take you back for a sec, on Thursday, the uh, the U.S. defense officials sent F-35 fighter jets up to try to figure out what this object was that was flying around near Alaska. Those pilots, we have learned, have given very conflicting accounts of what they actually experienced, with some pilots saying that the, the object interfered with the plane's sensors, other pilots saying that they didn't really experience that, other pilots saying that when they looked at the object, they could identify no identifiable uh, identifiable propulsion system, and they did not know how it was actually staying in the air, cruising at that altitude of about 40,000 feet. So this is all added to the Pentagon's wariness of describing in more detail what this object actually is until they can get more information uh, through the debris that they are recovering right now. At the direction of the President of the United States, fighter aircraft assigned to U.S. Northern Command successfully took down a high-altitude airborne object off the northern coast of Alaska. Uh, we're calling this an object because that's the best description we have right now. Uh, we do not know who owns it, uh, whether it's a whether it's state-owned or, or, or corporate-owned or privately-owned. We just don't know. So I want to stress again, we don't know what entity owns this object. There's no indication that it's from uh, a nation or an institution or an individual. We just don't know. It was detected yesterday, and then again, uh, NORAD sent up aircraft to observe it, see what it was, and then the decision was made to take it down. The object was about the size of a small car, so not similar in size or shape to the high-altitude surveillance balloon that was taken down off the coast of South Carolina on February 4. And we don't uh, understand the full purpose. We don't have any comp we don't have any information that would confirm a stated purpose for this object. Um, we do expect to be able to recover uh, the debris uh, since it fell not only within our territorial space but on what we what we uh, believe is is frozen uh, water. So uh, it, uh, a recovery effort will be made. We're able to. Uh, get some fighter aircraft up and around it uh, before uh, the order to shoot it down. And the pilot's assessment was that this was not manned. There's a whole lot of procedures that have to be followed before it would escalate to something like this. Okay, well, this was an object, right? So it wasn't an aircraft, per se. On your broad and deep experience, who do you think might own or have flown this thing in the air. I have no idea. Good man.